What'd you think of um, Asshole Reincarnate, the game? I mean, Goose Game. <laughs> Untitled Goose Game. Yeah, I've been waiting on this to... I was waiting on the Steam release, honestly. Um, yeah, I love it. It's awesome. It's it's a good time. Uh, it, it's... Everybody wants to be a mischievous goose. Inconveniencing everybody. Terrorizing the neighborhood. It, there, you just, there you go. There you go. It's everything you want. It's too nice. <laughs> But no, it's good. It's a good. Uh, it's funny. It's it's got, you know, sound design plus what? What do we get up to? Sound design plus three. Three. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, love- when you put your head in a bottle, I lost it. That was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you get you get your uh, little goose controls. You can walk around. You can you hit, you hit L two to kind of like duck down, and you can hit R two to flap your wings, and you can hit square to honk. And it's just, you know, everything you could ever want. Yonk. Yonk. Um, but no, no, it's just it's a bunch of little things. Like, the animations are honestly really good. Like, it, the animations for the bird are really good. And it's just funny. Like, it's a good time. It's that sort of goat simulator brand of pure joy into a video game because it's just silly and you don't take it too seriously. Yeah. Uh, but no, I, I really I like liked to it. That gameplay, too. So the the game feel is very much Hitman. I wondered if that's where you were going weird. with it. <laughs> yeah, which sounds God, weird Tom, to say. Tom's new Dark Souls. Hitman. Yeah, it's it's very very run around, be mischievous, and uh, be a dick to everyone you know. The mm-hmm. only difference is the goose doesn't kill anyone that I'm aware of. Mm-hmm. I mean, well, the DLC they, in the future. <laughs> But no, I, I do um, like so, the the flow of the gameplay, right? You get into a new area or whatever, and then you have a list of objectives. And some of them, at first, you're like, well, how am I going to do that? And usually there are... I don't know that there's always like multiple ways to do it, but there's always like a little bit of puzzling. Like, there's, there's a little... Yes. Um, it's like exercising your creativity. And outside of the box thinking to get these little challenges done. What I liked on some of them, while you were doing one thing, you could observe something happening and it would let you realize that's how you can do something else. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. And like you had the brilliant idea when it came to break the uh, broomstick. Yeah. <laughs> you literally tried to break it and you did something that was genius. <laughs> But the game wasn't designed to actually break the broomstick. No, I was kind of mad about that one. I was like, oh, come on. That's got to be the way. And it wasn't the way. So for full disclosure, his task, to break a broomstick. He closed a fucking garage door on the broomstick, and it didn't break because it's not what they wanted you to do. No. That's probably the only time I saw it kind of on rails. A little bit, yeah. But no, it's it's all the Um, little things like... The little interactable things. Like there's a set of walkie talkies, right? And you you can grab one and move it to one area and then you hold the other one in your beak. And then if you honk while that's on, your honk sound will go through the other walkie talkie and you can distract people that way from afar. Like it's little things like that that just <laughs> really pull the game together. So why aren't we using this game's actual title, which is Metal Goose Solid? <laughs> Fuck you. Um, Bobby does ask a question that I don't know the answer to. I know it's coming uh-huh. out soon. Uh, did the multiplayer launch? Yes. Yeah, it came out with the Ooh. Steam release. There's a multiplayer mode. I haven't checked it out. Tom, we're, we're going to have to do that. To, yeah, we're, we're going to have to goose up the place. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Get but yeah, un- Untitled Goose Game is just its a lot of fun. I would recommend it for sure. It's not something I'm going to play like a ton, but you know, for the, what, hour I played it, maybe? Yeah. It was a great time. Do you think you'll go back and beat it? I don't know. I might. If I'm bored one day and I don't know what to play, that might be something I could just grab, and it's basically a stress-free yeah. kind of game. Yeah, I see that being very much a mood game. Yeah. For sure. Mm-hmm. Having a uh, bad day, take it out on the <laughs> innocent civilians, <laughs> you know? Make a little kid run and cry into a phone booth. Exactly. I, I just love the premise. There's it a is. nice 
quiet, idyllic village in the English countryside, and you are a horrible goose. Yep. The end. That's it. 